Friends, this is the day that the Lord has made, that we be rejoice and be glad in, in Him. And so as we look and as we continue our devotion today, it is my humble honor that we start with a word of prayer. Let's, let's believe as we pray. Lord, in, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for yet this another day, even this weekend as we devote through your word today, Lord, we humble ourselves to receive from you, you alone, especially at a time like this, that we are combining prayer, even with, uh, with fasting and learning through this. And today, Lord, as we continue challenges that we face when we are in uh, the verge of, of uh, fasting, the process of fasting, uh, in prayer, Lord, we, we pray that you will expose this to us through your word, to the glory and honor of your name. This we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. And so yesterday we were talking about uh, desisting from sharing and uh, talking about us fasting during the process of fasting. And so today I would like us to very fast uh, think about this very other, other challenge. Eating or drinking during the fast. You are fasting, but you find yourself some food, some snack. You've thrown it in your mouth. You are, you, you've, uh, you are fasting, and such a such a thing happens. I think this is a real, real stuff. It's a real struggle, especially with regards to fasting and uh, praying and fasting. More, more, more than once, especially people who are fasting for the first time, you'd find yourself uh, reach out to a snack and even eat without your knowledge or uh, somebody who's been fasting anyway, but you just find that uh, find out that you, you have, you've been tempted and you are in it. And uh, because remember what we were saying, what we were saying that last week, we were saying that, uh, you know, must, matters to do with fasting, they challenge our normal rhythm of life, the way we are used to, to do things. We are used to food, and so you are telling your body that that, that rhythm is not what you ought to flow in. We are now fasting today. And so sometimes keeping to that rhythm as, uh, as you had agreed and planned would uh, be interfered with knowingly or even unknowingly. And so we are thinking of this as a challenge, as a pitfall for that person who is undertaking a prayer and a fast uh, coupled with fasting. Uh, this person uh, taking that must realize that at a time, time will come that you'd be tempted, you'd find yourself in this kind of a, of a, of a mess. And remember that, uh, as we were saying uh, last week, that it is also a time of depending on God. You know, we are not doing it out of our own strength. We depend upon the Spirit of God at a time like this because we know that uh, war is, has been waged, or we are waging a war between the flesh and the Spirit. And so it is a time that uh, there is that kind of uh, a situation that causes us to look to God. So eating uh, and, 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 or even a drinking would be a big struggle because uh, we are trying to, to set unrealistic. I mean, sometimes we, 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 as we think through fasting, you know, we would set some unrealistic uh, expectations, like I'll just go with the water. But you know, along the way, you say that I think for me to finish this fast, I need to have some juice so that I can get to the hours that I'd already planned. Because, you know, we are talking of dedicating a time, dedicating a meal, dedicating a day, dedicating three days without food, dedicating one week. And so along the way, you even feel hungry and say that, oh, though I said I'll take water, let me now, let me just do juice. I think with the juice, I'll, I'll be able to get it to, 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 the, to the evening. And so, I want to believe that this, uh, this is a, a, a kind of a struggle that we find ourselves in more than once. Mistakenly, like I remember this a time we were, I was fasting with some friends, and we had agreed that come this time in the evening, we'll come and converge and pray together and break that fast together. But as we were walking in church, a brother who was uh, new in, in fasting came with uh, sugar cane on his hand and he was munching a sugar cane and we were like now how comes you know so these things happen 
but again we we ought to we ought to think through this together and even look at it and and say and see that you see one thing i love with god is that god sees our heart he understands the bottom of our heart and 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 this reminds me of exodus chapter the book of exodus chapter 34 verses 6 and 7 Listen to these words that encourages me about God, 34, 6 through to 7. The Lord passed before him. Remember, Moses is, is on Mount Sinai, the day that uh, he's receiving the commandments from God. And so the Bible re records this, that the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful, gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, for giving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who, will, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon uh, the, the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. So you see, we are also speaking about God who sees the rich, sees the bottom of our hearts. He understands when we are guilty of uh, some of these mistakes he sees that uh, this son of mine would only give me until this he could not give me everything as as as, uh, as uh, we had uh, said so he understands this with regards to our lives that he reveals to moses and verses 8 says that moses when he and moses made haste to bow his head towards the earth and worshiped when he had these things from god he bowed because god is he is merciful and gracious. He's slow to anger. You know, it is good to know that as we go before the Lord and uh, as we are, are tempted or as we, we, we find ourselves throwing a snack in our mouth, finding ourselves break the fast before the time we had agreed, finding ourselves exchange water that we had agreed to, to fast against with regards to, to now bringing in juice, thinking that juice will help sustain me. You see, God knows all these things with regards to our life. And uh, one good thing to know as I read this text is that it is difficult to exhaust the love of God, the grace that God has for us. He seek, I mean, uh, it is very difficult to exhaust it. If at all we seek him wholeheartedly, if at all we realize that we have already faulted on what we had already planned with God. And so breaking that fast early uh, as uh, in opposition to what time we had agreed would uh, make loud this 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 very struggle that i'm talking about and uh, i think uh, what we ought to do in a, in a time like we realize this we need to change this very fast because we are talking about god who understands us he understands everything with regards to our lives he's he has steadfast love for us he will still embrace us and so what we need to do is maybe we correct this very fast and uh, another day we do it even better though we faulted and and fell we can even rise up and do it even better and try again try and do it the right way and so you, you tempted with the food that you throw it in your mouth and uh, things like that then i think we should uh, make haste and correct it number two uh, number three ignoring god during the day of our fasting in, go, in ignoring god during the day of our fasting you know fasting weakens our body and uh, our physique it removes that comfort that we get ourselves we, we we get in food and this temporal things stuff that we are talking about fasting brings that and i, I want to believe that as we are doing this we should be very sensitive or we should be alert to God. We shouldn't ignore what God is telling us. Because you see, when uh, anger arises, therefore when anger comes into play, when fear or, or we, we feel hurt during that time, because you know we are subduing ourselves, we are, we, are, we are coming out away from comfort of food. I want to believe that things like anger, things like uh, fear or hurt, we become prone to such. I don't know whether you'd, you've ever been in fast, you realize that this is revealed a lot in your life at, uh, during that time. I, I want to believe that we need to trust God with these feelings and, and correctly 
uh, tell God that, yes, I can feel some hurt. I can feel some kind of fear in me. I can feel anger boil through what I'm sharing with this gentleman. I can feel that there is, because you know, you are now weak. You are frail. You are tired. You, uh, anger would uh, ex be exposed easily. Let us not uh, deny God or let us not deny uh, these kind of feelings when we are in uh, the moment of, of prayer and fasting. When anger comes, let us tell God that God kindly take this away. Kindly, this fear that is gripping my heart at a time like this, because your body is humble and so you are in a position to see. You know, ignoring God, that I mean, ignoring the Spirit of God that is revealing these things to you is tantamount to for me, I would, uh, I would think of this, this would also be a sin of omission because God is revealing to you something that you need to tell him that you look here, God, uh, yes, I'm hungry and I think there's a spirit of anger because it is in this time of prayer and fasting that God also reveals some of the deep things that we don't normally see and appreciate easily. Things like even be, be becoming, uh, 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 having fear in you or uh, feeling uh, that you are easily hurt. You know, these are things that we need to bring to God. And so I'm saying that let us be careful not to ignore God and God exposing some of these things to us. Let us be people who are fast to repent and seek God to come and uh, engage our spirit. Because, you know, this is a spiritual uh, pursuit such that uh, in case he's revealing this to us, we are in a position to, to tell him to take away this pain that may be in us. Let us be people who think uh, that, uh, I mean, people who bring God into, I mean, regard God first before all these things that would be exposed to us or revealed, be revealed to us, such that God is able to cleanse you because it is a time of cleansing, a time of refining, you know. It is a time to stay faithful to your feelings before the Lord. It is a time to acknowledge God, to walk with you in that process. It is not time to ignore what God is showing you because he doesn't want us to, to, to quit easily when we are in that kind of a state. He is coming in that time that we are weak. That is what Second, Chron Second Corinthians tells us in verses 12. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will, I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Paul is speaking about his weaknesses, that we will be glad and boast about them. And I want to believe before the Lord so we can say that, yes, I'm, I'm stubborn in this area, God. You are showing it to me. There's a lot of anger and rage in my heart. Lord, I release it to you now. There's fear that when I think of this, fear comes my way. Fear between me, even with my wife, between me and my children. There's this un unnecessary fear that I find I, you are exposing in my heart today. Let us not ignore what God is telling us during a time like this. Because in our weakness, Paul says that in his weakness, he has realized the power. His power, my power is made perfect in weakness. There is power that works in that weakness, accepting your weakest point before the Lord. Then he, very fast what God will do is, he'll cleanse you and he'll make you that person, that vessel of honor that you are seeking before him, such that that honor will go will be partner with in your life and you we will and and you find that we find ourselves outgrowing those kind of spirit that has weighed us down it is a time to accept the cleansing of the lord it is a time to receive that which refinement that god would want you to attain let us pray father we thank you for this time it's a time of not ignoring you it is a time lord of keeping to our promise, if it is food that we are saying that we are not partaking. And so, Lord, through your Spirit, help us to stay faithful to that very plan, that very vow, commitment that we have made with you. We bless you, Lord, as we 
think of these pitfalls. Help us, Lord, that we learn not to share with the people about our fasting. Help us, Lord, to make a decision of not eating if it is eating or whatsoever temporal things we are giving up, that, Lord, will not come back to them. Give us a committed heart. Lord, help us, even as we pray, that we do not ignore your spirit exposing the depth, the, the inner things of our hearts that we refuse sometimes to acknowledge and appreciate. May your name receive honor and glory. This we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen.